Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, Republicans in the House have passed an amendment sponsored by Representative David McKinley to the latest military authorization funding bill which would not allow the military to take into account climate change in their planning. Now think about that. Our military routinely plans for all contingencies. We even have a plan to invade Canada. Our top strategists have been, in the past few years, discussing things like what countries are likely to go to war over water rights and shortages. We also routinely take into account local climate when we engage in military planning. We really wouldn't want to send our army into a floodplain during rainy season. It's also not a good idea to build a base near the ocean without planning for the fact that the oceans are rising. So this amendment does have direct national security implications. This amendment would compromise our security in the name of conservative ideology. This would be like invading two countries without planning for an insurgency. Oh, <laughs> we already did that. I guess it's no accident that Republicans planned both those wars. If there is one thing that can be said about Republicans, they love to go to war without preparing for it. But here's the thing. There are only a few Republicans who actually believe this climate denial bullshit. The main reason why they, they continue this charade is to benefit their patrons in the fossil fuel industry. For years, Republicans made hay by accusing Democrats of being soft on national security. Now the GOP is willing to compromise on national security just to secure campaign donations. One thing you can say about those Republicans, once they're bought, they stay bought. Thanks for listening.